Aside from the molding machine itself, the second most expensive piece of equipment that we use on a daily basis could be the mold inside the molding machine. Those molds are very expensive. So let's discuss the three components to basic mold protect. Every molding machine has its variation of how the mold protect screen is set up, but every mold protect has three major components. The first major component is the start position of the mold protect. The second would be the ending position of mold protect. And the third key component would be the speed and pressure that, that you allow the machine to use during the mold protect. So where do we want to start mold protect? A simple way to think about it is, is when that mold is closing, when the two mold halves are approaching each other, when do you get to the point where something might break in the mold? In this example, here is a simple two plate mold. So the only thing we need to worry about breaking on this mold would be the leader pins. So that would be the position where we start mold protect. Here you can see the mold closed up so that there, there is just a small gap between the leader pins and the moving half of the mold. This is where I'd want to start mold protect on this mold. If we take a look at the controller, we can see the mold position is at 1.69 inches. So I'm going to go down and set the low pressure mold protect position at 1.7 inches. So 1.7 inches is where I'm going to start mold protect based off the position of the mold right now at 1.69 inches. And if we look at the mold, that is the position of the mold right there. Now that we've established the starting position of mold protect, the next thing is to tell the machine where to stop mold protect. And you want to stop protecting the mold once it's completely closed. So that is called uh, clamp up position or mold touch position on the machine. So here I clamped up the mold and mold set. And as you can see, there is no gap between the mold halves. If I read the position on the molding machine, now it says the mold position is at 0 0.029 inches. There should be a setting on the machine called clamp. It might have a different terminology. But now I would set the clamp position on the machine slightly higher than the actual position. Now that we've established our starting position for mold protect and our ending position for mold protect, the next consideration is the speed and pressure that you set the machine to to go from the starting point to the ending point. So generally you want to slow down at the, during this transition period and you want to set a pressure low enough so that if there is something between the mold halves that it will stall the clamp movement and give what we call a clamp alarm. On this machine we can see the the pressure to use during mold protect is right here at 5%. And right here, 20% is the speed that we use during mold protect. The pressure aspect is the most important setting during mold protect. You want to use as little pressure as you can to get the mold to go from mold protect start position to the clamp up position. So you could set that pressure really high and the mold would close, but it might not stop on a part that's in the way. So you might need to experiment by lowering the pressure and eventually you will get to a point where the mold doesn't clamp anymore. And do this with a nice clean leader pins and grease. The next thing to consider is to resist the urge to raise the pressure up every time the mold doesn't clamp because there actually might be something in the way or the leader pins might be dirty. Here's an example of a mold with some moving actions and a different type of controller. So here's a mold with some slide action. So the mold in the picture, you just saw the slides, the mold is at 2.196 inches. So that would be, be where we want to start mold protect. So on this machine, mold protect is labeled LVLP, low velocity, low pressure. So the mold protect starts at 2.2 inches. It uses a 10% low velocity and a 15% low pressure to stall the clamp. And then the mold protect ending position is 0 0.015 inches and that is where the mold will clamp up to full tonnage. Following these simple steps can help you protect your valuable asset of the mold. Your mold, your tool room will really like you and you can get it to stop on something as thin as this business card and that that is achievable.